introduction to Hamlet, like many of Shakespeare's plays, is an immediate immersion into action, with sentinels on guard at Elsinore, fearful that they will see a ghost that has appeared before. When Horatio joins them, they discuss their belief that it is the ghost of the dead king, whose brother has recently married his widow. The first scene of Hamlet begins with the appearance of the ghost of the late King Hamlet. In the rising action, Prince Hamlet's friends tell him about the appearance and he goes with them to see the ghost. The ghost tells him that his uncle Claudius murdered him and that Hamlet must avenge him. In the meantime, we learn that Fortinbras seeks to avenge the death of his father, who had died in battle against King Hamlet some years before. After holding court, Claudius tells Hamlet he is mourning too much. Later, Ophelia tells Polonius of a distressing encounter with Prince Hamlet. Polonius thinks Hamlet's love for Ophelia is driving him mad and decides that he must tell the king and queen of this occurrence. They scheme a chance meeting between the two. When Hamlet and Ophelia meet, <gasps> Hamlet tells her that he never loved her, leaving her distraught. Claudius and Gertrude decide they need to send Hamlet to England. Hamlet then sets up a play depicting Claudius murdering his father. While watching Hamlet's play, Claudius <clears throat> falls into a mad frenzy. On his way to speak with his mother after the play, Hamlet finds Claudius and nearly kills him. He hesitates <clears throat> because he thinks Claudius is praying. During the climax, he goes to speak with his mother and during their argument, kills Polonius, who was spying on them from behind a tapestry. Claudius, now paranoid, sends Hamlet to England with a death warrant. In the meantime, it is discovered that Ophelia has committed suicide. After being captured by pirates, Hamlet plots his way back to Denmark and has Horatio meet him there. When they get back, they witness Ophelia's funeral and Hamlet and Laertes scuffle. During the falling action, Claudius and Laertes decide to plot Hamlet's murder at a fencing match, poisoning the sword and the wine. At the fencing match, Claudius pours poison into Hamlet's cup, but Hamlet does not drink from it. During the match, Hamlet strikes Laertes twice, and Gertrude drinks to Hamlet's health, unknowingly drinking the poisoned wine. As she dies, Laertes reveals to Hamlet that both of them have also been poisoned by the foil in Hamlet's hands. Laertes reveals the plot to everyone, proclaiming that the king, the king, is to blame. Enraged, Hamlet kills Claudius, stabbing him and forcing him to drink the poisoned wine. In the resolution, after everyone dies, young Fortinbras returns from Poland. Horatio tells him what has happened, and Fortinbras claims that Hamlet deserves a military funeral. <laughs>